Under the warm Florida sun, a colony of carpenter ants bustled about, their world hidden beneath the forest floor. Amidst their intricate tunnels, a remarkable scene unfolded. One of the ants, injured from a recent scuffle, hobbled back to the nest. Her nestmate sprang into action, performing a sophisticated surgical procedure that left researchers in awe. Led by Eric Frank, a team of scientists from the University of Würzburg observed these tiny medics. Each injured ant was assessed with care, and depending on the severity of the wound, their nestmates either meticulously cleaned the injury or amputated the damaged limb. The researchers watched as the ants used their mouthparts to perform these delicate procedures, showcasing an advanced level of medical care previously thought exclusive to humans. In a recent study published in Current Biology, the researchers revealed how these ants' treatments significantly improve survival rates. For severe femur injuries, the ants chose amputation, resulting in a remarkable 90% to 95% survival rate. Milder tibia injuries were only cleaned, yet still achieved a 75% survival rate. This contrasted starkly with the dismal survival rates of untreated ants, highlighting the effectiveness of their medical interventions. Laurent Keller, an evolutionary biologist from the University of Lausanne, delved deeper into why these ants chose different treatments. Micro-CT scans showed that femur injuries disrupted the ants' ability to pump hemolymph, their equivalent of blood. By amputating the leg, the ants prevented the spread of harmful bacteria. Tibia injuries, less critical in terms of hemolymph circulation, were managed with thorough cleaning instead. The researchers were fascinated by the ants' ability to diagnose and treat injuries with such precision. Frank noted, the fact that the ants are able to diagnose a wound, see if it's infected or sterile, and treat it accordingly over long periods of time by other individuals, the only medical system that can rival that would be the human one. This innate behavior, not learned but instinctual, pointed to a sophisticated level of social cooperation. As the study concluded, the team planned to investigate further, exploring whether other ant species exhibited similar medical behaviors. They also pondered the implications of these findings on our understanding of pain and cooperation in ant societies. Watching videos of ants presenting their injured limbs for amputation voluntarily, Frank and his colleagues marveled at the depth of innate cooperation displayed by these tiny creatures. In the quiet aftermath of the discoveries, the researchers reflected on the extraordinary medical system these ants had developed. Hidden beneath the forest floor, the carpenter ants of Florida had revealed a complex, life-saving behavior that bridged the gap between human and animal medicine, showcasing the remarkable intelligence and social structure of these industrious insects.